Hi, welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for December 6, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website at whenthecurveslineup.com. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 7.04 a.m. Central Standard Time followed by sunset at 4.20 p.m., the earliest sunset. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, Venus and Jupiter are nearing their opposition December 10th. Afterward Jupiter sets before Venus rises. Venus steps eastward about 1 degree each morning as Jupiter slowly retrogrades, appears to move westward against the starfield. On opposition morning the planets are 180 degrees apart. This morning there's a 30 minute window to see Venus, in the east-southeast, and Jupiter low in the west-northwest, before the Jovian giant sets. This occurs beginning 3 hours, 40 minutes before sunrise. Set an early alarm and find a spot with clear natural horizons looking toward the respective planets. A hilltop or elevated structure helps to see over any obstructions. At one hour before sunrise, the crescent moon, 38% illuminated, is over halfway up in the south-southeast and over 30 degrees to the upper right of brilliant Venus. The lunar orb is in front of Virgo. Later today, tomorrow morning for sky watchers in Europe, Middle East, and Western Asia, the moon occults or eclipses the star Zania, also known as Ada Virginis. In two mornings, the moon is with Spica and makes a beautiful pairing with Venus on the 9th. Venus is widening its gap to Spica, 8.9 degrees to the planet's upper right. The morning star is heading for the scorpion's claws, Zubina Shamali and Zubinel Genubi, over 13 degrees to the lower left. Venus passes 1.9 degrees from the southern claw December 17, and the next morning passes between the stars. Mars is still immersed in bright sunlight. It rises only 24 minutes before the sun, in the evening sky. Mercury is moving toward inferior conjunction between Earth and Sun. A few days after its greatest elongation, it is over 10 degrees above the southwest horizon at sunset. 30 minutes later, it is over 6 degrees above the horizon, and a binocular object. No other bright stars are nearby to reference, so it may be necessary to slowly sweep the binocular from side to side above the southwest horizon. 15 minutes later, when the sky is darker, the planet is only 5 degrees up in the sky. Mercury sets 77 minutes after nightfall. Look for the planet during the next four evenings. An hour after sunset, Saturn is over 35 degrees above the south horizon and about 20 degrees to the upper right of Fomalot, the mouth of the southern fish, that is nearly 20 degrees above the horizon. The ringed wonder is slightly brighter than the star. Saturn is slowly moving eastward in front of Aquarius, 10.7 degrees to the lower right of Lambda Aquarii, 10.3 degrees to the upper right of Skate, meaning the leg, and 7.6 degrees to the upper left of Deneb Algdi, meaning the kid's tail. A binocular is needed to see the stars from urban and suburban settings. Jupiter is farther eastward at this hour. While not as bright as Venus, it is the bright star in the east after sunset. The planet is retrograding, appearing to move westward compared to Aries' distant stars, 11.4 degrees to the lower right of the ram's hamel, and 13.8 degrees to the upper right of Menkar, Cetus Nostril. The planet is noticeably west of an imaginary line between the two stars. A binocular may be necessary to see them. With the binocular, look for the Pleiades star cluster, over 24 degrees to the Jovian giant's lower left. A few dozen stars are visible with the optical help. Aldebaran, less than 15 degrees below the Pleiades, is the brightest star in Taurus. This evening Aldebaran rises at sunset. It is in the sky all night, setting in the west-northwest at sunrise. It can be found in the south at midnight. Aldebaran and the Hyades star cluster make a sideways letter V, forming the bull's head. Use a binocular to spot the shape. Orion's Betelgeuse is the next bright star to rise at sunset. While the hunter is visible later in the night, Betelgeuse rises at sunset during early January followed by Rigel, 
Orion's knee a few nights later. During the night, the will of the sky appears to turn westward from Earth's rotation. Saturn sets in the west-southwest six hours after sunset. Jupiter is south an hour before Saturn sets. The solar system's largest planet is low in the west-northwest when Venus rises over three hours before sunrise. The crescent moon rises nearly six hours before sunrise tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.